Welcome, welcome. This is Michelle from sunny Pueblo, Colorado. I have uh, prepared a beanless keto chili. Yummy. Um, based on Carrie Brown's recipe, um, but I tweaked it a little bit because that's what I do. Anyways, I browned the ground beef. It was two pounds of ground beef. It was, and, and then I put it in the uh, sun oven pot. And then I, um, I put about seven ounces of red onion and a couple of tablespoons of crushed garlic in the oil in the fry pan and cooked that off for a few minutes and put that in the pan. And then I've got uh, one can of diced tomatoes. You can use crushed tomatoes, um, whatever. And then there is a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of dried oregano. I skipped the cayenne because I don't do heat. Uh, but you could add, uh, uh, looks like, um, either a half or a quarter teaspoon of cayenne, depending on your uh, preferences. A teaspoon of cumin powder. And I didn't have any coriander, so I put chili powder in instead, two teaspoons. Um, and then four teaspoons of cocoa powder. Now I need to add a cup of beef stock and one and a quarter teaspoons of cognac flour or glucomannan powder. And then I'm going to stir it all up and put it into the sun oven. And why don't you come back and see me when that happens. So this is glucomannan powder or cognac flour. Um, it is uh, coming from a root vegetable that's pretty much all fiber um, out of Japan and make they make shirataki noodles from it or um, the non-tofu version is like miracle noodle. Now it's best to sprinkle it over the entire surface that way it gets mixed in rather evenly. You don't want clumps of glucomannan powder all over and that's like one and a half teaspoons total. We'll stir it in and we'll put it all in the sun oven. I've had the sun oven preheating and it's a little over 200 now which is perfect. Um, as you can see it's not directly in the sun. We're going to be slow co cooking this anyways. Um, I have to leave for a good portion of the prime cooking hours between 10 and 2 so I'm just going to slow cook this throughout the day. I also have to be gone again in the afternoon. So this is going to be dinner tonight and I'm going to turn it right before I leave um, closer to where the sun is going to be at noon and then after I get back and um, bring in the food I'm, I'm getting from the farmers market um, before I leave again, I'll make sure and turn it a couple of times so that it's more in the sun. But really, this is slow cooking and or like baking your chili in the oven. It's just going to take time to melt all those flavors. And there's not going to be any heat directly from the bottom, so it won't burn to the bottom of the pan. Anyways, I'll be back. And here we have about eight, eight and a half hours later. Very nice, slow cooked ketogenic chili. I'm going to have a very good dinner tonight. I'm going to add sour cream and shredded cheese and it's going to be delicious. And then I'm going to put some of it up in the freezer and have some as leftovers tomorrow. So you should try it.